On a pivotal day in the first criminal trial of an American president, the courtroom buzzed with tension and spectacle. Michael D. Cohen, the prosecution's star witness and former personal lawyer to Donald J. Trump, admitted on the stand to stealing from the Trump Organization. This admission came as the courtroom, packed with an eclectic entourage supporting Trump, threatened to spin out of control. Cohen's testimony linked Trump directly to falsified records intended to cover up a sex scandal involving a porn star. The trial, spanning five weeks and filled with dramatic descriptions of sex and scandal, reached a crescendo when the prosecution rested its case and the defense called its sole witness, Robert J. Costello. Costello, a lawyer who had once advised Cohen, was intended to serve as a counterpoint to Cohen's damning testimony. However, the defense's strategy backfired when Costello's defiant demeanor led Judge Juan M. Merchant to clear the courtroom. This dramatic moment underscored the chaotic atmosphere that had characterized the trial. Costello, a well-known figure in New York's legal world, faced the judge's ire after scoffing at a ruling. Judge Merchant reprimanded Costello sternly, accusing him of contemptuous behavior and threatening to remove him from the stand. This altercation overshadowed Cohen's performance on the stand, where he maintained his composure under a barrage of attacks from the defense. Trump's supporters in the courtroom added to the spectacle. The entourage included high-profile figures such as Republican lawmakers, lawyer Alan Dershowitz, legal advisor Boris Epstein, who is under indictment in Arizona, former New York Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick, and Chuck Zito, a former leader of the Hells Angels with a criminal past. Their presence highlighted the intense and often bizarre nature of the proceedings. As the prosecution concluded its case, Cohen's testimony stood out. He was the only witness to provide first-hand evidence directly linking Trump to the fraudulent records. Despite fierce cross-examination from Trump's lawyer, Todd Blanche, Cohen remained composed. Blanche sought to depict Cohen as a pathological liar obsessed with bringing down Trump, but Cohen held firm. The defense focused on discrediting Cohen, probing his past misdeeds, including stealing from the Trump organization. Cohen admitted to pocketing more than half the money earmarked for a tech company, reinforcing the defense's portrayal of him as untrustworthy. Judge Merchant indicated that closing arguments would likely be delivered on May 28, signaling the trial's approach to its conclusion. However, the volatility and drama that have marked the proceedings suggest that more unexpected developments could still unfold. In the midst of this legal battle, the courtroom has become a stage for a broader narrative of loyalty, betrayal, and scandal. Trump's supporters, many of whom face legal troubles of their own, have rallied around him, adding to the trial's circus-like atmosphere. As the trial progresses, the American public remains captivated, witnessing a historic and unprecedented legal confrontation involving a former president.